I believe Sophie's been travelling around doing all of the WDF events this year. Yeah, a winner on the women's circuit this year as well. That's a great shot from Paige Pong, find that treble. I think these two girls are no stranger to the stage. Paige can't take out this 170, but she's in the treble. Unlucky with the second dart. Very unfortunate with that second dart. She was looking at treble 20 or treble 19. Leaves her 88, so she was looking at the treble 20. Looking to set this up nicely. But Paige on 86. She be going for treble 18, 18 here. For double 16. 16. That's a fantastic check out from Paige to win the first leg. I think the pace of each other will suit them very well. Yeah, two quick throwers. It makes it easy to watch and enjoyable for the viewers as well as the players. It's like watching our young selves. <laughs> Sophie back into that treble. Sophie scoring has been really good in this game so far. But Paige is matching her now. A little bit of pressure. Four. For tops. Very unlucky. That's very unfortunate. Sophie will be looking at treble 16, I imagine, here. She Why you look at the 25 the or the 15 here? That's two big numbers she's missed. That could be a crucial miss for Sophie here if Paige can take out this, because this is for a break of throw. And that's a break of throw for Paige Paul and a 2 0 lead in a first of four game. It's a great treble to find at this stage of the leg. Double 10. With the wires away, can it's Sophie take her chance? Up for treble 14. That's unlucky. Can she hit the single 20 to leave tops? She does. That's a good leave at this stage of the game. She's looking for a bit of Big one. luck. Double two. Eight. Tops Double in. tops for Sophie. Get herself on the board. That's a good leg from Sophie. She took her little chance. Fantastic leg to get as well with Paige after being ahead. So she'll finish. But Paige back on 3-5-1. Can she put a little bit of a dint? She does. And that's the first 180 of our girls' final. She Putting puts more than a little bit of pressure on. She puts a lot of pressure on. The most pressure you can put on. He has a chance on double one. Just falls slightly short for a 3-1 lead. Paige looking at double 10 and she gets it. That's a break of throw and she's going in 3-1 with the throw. And she's in again. Back again. Can she get her first 180? And she gets it. It's great for both girls to get 180s on the stage. It'll build their confidence and it'll put them in good stead and for the future playing on stage. Take her second leg of this match, 36. On the width of the wire. This is for the match for Paige Paulin. Double 14. Very, Very unfortunate. Unlucky. Double 9 to save it. And, and she does. gets it. That's a good break of throw and hopefully gets herself this next leg so she has a fighting chance. Can she take the big fish? Oh, there's the first one. There's the second. Will she go for Oh, oh it's an unfortunate player. miss. That would have been nice for her to take out a 170 on stage. Sophie on 35. She'll be looking at the big three. Oh, no. Double six. That's very unlucky. Treble 18 for Paige. Treble 20. She might, she's looking at the double here. And sets herself up nicely. Now Sophie, double six to take this to the side and leg. And she gets it. This girl's final going all the way. Three all. Paige will have the dirt. Unfortunate not to leave a finish. 
She'll be looking at 16 to leave tops, and she does. She'll be having tops when she returns to be crowned the Irish Open Girls Champion 2023. So he applies the pressure of a page 40 for the match. And, and she gets it. And your Irish Open Girls Champion, Paige Paulin. Fantastic game. Well done to both girls. Congratulations to Paige. Very unfortunate for Sophie McKinley. 